Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is John Brahman, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a custom gradient to your type, but still make sure that type's editable. I don't wanna waste a lot of time with all this talking, and so we'll go straight to the computer right now. All right, so let's say that you have some text that you want to add a gradient, really of any sort too, but in this case, we're gonna do gold. I'm gonna go into my swatches, and I'm gonna open up the gradients, and then go over to metals. And then I'm gonna click here on the gold. Now, as you can see, it shows as if it's my fill color, but my fill color is still black. A lot of people would use this simple workaround where maybe they keep a copy, they would turn this to outlines by hitting Command Shift O, and then they would add the gradient. And that does work, and of course you can edit the gradient. That does work, but the problem is maybe you wanna have it editable so that you can actually like change the type, or you might have a lot of reasons why. You don't really want this kind of destructive artwork where now if somebody asks you to change the text, you gotta redo the whole process. So there is a really easy workaround. So let's just undo this here. And all we need to do is make sure that our stroke is set to none and our fill is set to none. And we want our appearance panel open, so that's window and appearance. So once you have that open, all you need to do is right here, there'll be a box that says add new fill. We'll click that and it'll look as if we were just back to where we were, where we have a fill over here, but it's different. It's on the appearance instead of the character. It's confusing. I don't know why Illustrator does this, but it works. Now, if we click this gradient, you'll see the gradient actually shows on the text and hitting the gradient tool G on my keyboard, I can move the gradient around just like I normally would. And I can actually change the text to say anything I want. And of course, change the gradient. All right, so it was that easy. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. And of course, if you could share this with a friend, that would be awesome as this is a new channel and I'm trying to help grow it. And I do teach classes on Skillshare.com and I've taught one on the appearance panel that goes more complicated. We make artwork like this that has all kinds of layers, all kinds of different things going on, all in the appearance panel. And as you can see, I can change this letter and it'll take a moment to apply all these different effects. But once it does, as you can see, it is a totally editable letter. If you want to learn more about the appearance panel, that's Skillshare.com slash John Bromit. And you can see I've done an entire class on the appearance panel that goes way deeper than I just went here. I may end up changing this thumbnail, but either way, you'll find it somewhere on my page and it's called the mind blowing appearance panel. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed that tip. It was really easy. Just something straightforward. It's just a weird thing that I don't know. Adobe should probably fix that so that it's not so convoluted, but hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.